Welcome back to STEM with Storm. In the last video, you learned what an electrical engineer is. Electrical engineers are people who create energy, study power, and build electronic devices to make life easier. Electrical engineers work with a three-step process to create energy in order for us to use it. Step one, generating power. Step two, storing or transferring power. And step three, releasing power. Today, we're gonna to learn about another type of engineer, a chemical engineer. A chemical engineer is someone who studies and understands chemical reactions and uses those reactions to make things work better. Chemical reactions mean the reactions substances have when combined, such as bubbles, temperature change, light, odor, sound, or color change. Chemical engineers help to improve our environment, make food, and make sure things are safe for all of us. It's time for a brain break. Kids, stand up and march with us while we play the Trine University fight song. Mark, two, three, four. <laughs> Go Thunder! We're here to show you what a chemical reaction looks like and what to look for in a chemical reaction. Chemical engineers have to understand chemical reactions in order to control the results. So here we have Erica and Carly with me today. We're going to show you the baking soda vinegar reaction. Now what they're going to do is they're going to add some vinegar into this two liter bottle. And they filled up a balloon with baking soda. So now what they're gonna do is they're gonna take that balloon filled with baking soda and they're gonna put it over top of the two liter bottle. This will put the baking soda into the vinegar. It'll react and it'll fill up the balloon with a gas. So our solid baking soda and our liquid vinegar combined to create a gaseous product. Crazy, right? For our next reaction, we're gonna show off a color change. Now what we've done here is we've taken a red cabbage and we've blended it with some water to create this juice. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to add some acids and some bases into the juices and they'll react and show a color change. So why don't we add some of the bleach into the first beaker? Now bleach is a strong base. So when the red cabbage particles hit the bleach particles, it causes a color change. See, now it's an ugly yellow. Next up, we're gonna add some vinegar. Vinegar is a strong acid. So when it hits the cabbage, it turns a bright red. Crazy, right? And for our final one, we've got some laundry detergent. Just like the bleach, it's also a strong base. So it turns it a pretty green color. Cool, isn't it? All right, and now for a special treat. What I have here is a flask filled with hydrogen peroxide. I'm gonna take some dish soap and add, add that to it. I'm gonna give it a good swirl to mix it in. And I'm gonna add some yellow food coloring. Ah, there we go. And mix it together. Probably a good idea. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some potassium iodine into this, iodide. I'm gonna add some potassium iodide into this. What that's gonna do is it's gonna react with the hydrogen peroxide and create a gas. That gas is gonna come out and into the soap. 
and the soap is going to capture it into a foam. Are you ready? All right, give it a good swirl. And look at it rise. Today's big idea. A chemical engineer is someone who studies and understands chemical reactions and uses those reactions to make things work better. Chemical reactions mean the reactions substances have when combined, such as bubbles, temperature change, light, odor, sound, or color change. You can be a chemical engineer too by looking for these reactions in your home. Perhaps you can help your parents cook and look for things like bubbles, different odors, or color changes. We will share the recipe for making ice cream with your teacher for you to try at home too.